So we'll have a real mic, huh? Is that your sponsor? Yeah, this is, oh, I mean, this oh, okay. is just by Victus, but <laughs> right on. it's just, I don't know, the, the stem. We kind of like the unprofessional. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. It's, it's better than <laughs> Yeah. So my first one is, I know you're big into sports cards. What are some of your favorite baseball cards of all time? Like, you may have them, may not have them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, obviously, if I could choose one to have, it'd be the 52 uh, Mantle. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, the most iconic sports card yeah. um, probably of all time. Um, my so favorite... Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's a little bit more modern, yeah. you know, a little bit more well known, um, and I think it's just like a, a prettier card, you know. Yeah. I think it's a, a nicer card to look at. For sure, awesome. And um, what's your favorite hat that you've worn your full, like your whole career? Any level, minor leagues, Fourth of July hats, like anything like that? Um, man, that's a tough question. Um, I usually like the military themed ones, yeah. you know, the camo. Um, we did uh, one this year. It wasn't as camouflage, but you know, for the um, military remembrance yeah. day, the um, all of those have been really cool. You know, the designs they've done, green, different color camos, like so. Anything that has camo in it, I like. For sure. And then you specifically, you were a third overall pick. You got a lot of young guys like coming through the systems nowadays, making it to the big leagues. What changes have you seen from guys coming up as top prospects now versus when you were coming up? Because I feel like there's more hype around the younger guys now. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that uh, because of the amount of hype now on guys, like there's not as many like misses, I guess. Yeah. You know, like the guys that come up like are usually like surefire dudes that have been, you know, um, you've been watching them for the last 10 years since they were, you know, yeah. 10, 12 years old. You know, we, we know about players so, so early now. Um, and, uh, I mean, the difference, too, I think, is guys are signing, con you know, big yeah. long-term contracts earlier. I mean, I was, uh, you know, when I came up, I was one of the only guys that signed, um, you know, pretty early on in my career, a long-term extension. And I feel like now, um, you know, smartly for teams, like, we're, we're locking up guys like Corbin yeah. uh, to long-term deals that can be the face of the franchise for a long time. And um, so that that's fun to see, you know, guys making a mark, getting paid, and, you know, able to come out here and, and, and have fun. Yeah, let's go. And then, how many cleats would you say you go through in a season? Yeah, I saw. <laughs> I saw this. Uh, I saw. I saw you guys asking this question. Yeah. Um, We've gotten a wide variety. You yeah. Can tell I just said fifty. Yeah. <laughs> Two and fifty. Yeah, I wore a lot. I wore a lot. Um, mainly because uh, I wear plastics and I wear um, like. I get my cleats made with like really soft materials, so they okay. kind of break down pretty quickly. Um, so I probably wear one pair of cleats for like five games max. So okay. I'm like, and I have three different color combinations, so I kind of cycle through them, but I probably go through, yeah, like 30, 30 to 40 pairs nice. a year. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I, I, and I like looking fresh. I like them looking new, you know. Yeah. So as soon as they start to get like too brown or, you know, like, and the molded's break down quick too. So. Yeah. So you've had a long career. What is the craziest item you've ever signed in your career? <laughs> Probably prosthetic limbs. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, anytime. So multiple? Uh, yeah, yeah. I've signed, I've signed a few, you know, uh, prosthetic arm, prosthetic legs, um, you know, feet. Like, I've seen quite a few of them. And I, obviously, like, there's. That's cool because there's always a story behind it, yeah. you know, and the people are, um, most of them, if not all of them, are, are still, like, moving forward, doing what they love. Right. So, like, it's cool to have, like, a an imprint on somebody's, uh, something that somebody's wearing every day and is yeah. a part of their life. So, yeah, it's probably the strangest <laughs> and the most cool thing. Yeah, that's dope. How far in feet you think you could throw a baseball? Not, not that far. Um, I think I heard that if you could throw a ball 300 feet, that it, that's the equivalent of like 90 miles yeah, an hour. Yeah, I've heard that. Um, so probably not 300 feet. Probably like, I don't know, 250. I mean, I've launched like 290 before, so I feel like, what about I mean, like if prime? If I really tried, maybe, <laughs> you know, but I, my arm would be sore for a week. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm more uh, throw it as hard as I need to to get it across the diamond. I got you. Do we have another? Oh, yeah, so... Being, so you were like a top prospect, young stud in the league, and now you're more of a veteran. But like the younger guys now have so much more leeway flipping bats and stuff like yeah. that. Like, kid, like kids are pimping their first career homers. Yeah. Do you wish like you could pimp more homers back then, like play with more energy? No, no, I, I don't. I, um, you know, I, I think it's, it's, uh, you know, it's a stylistic thing. Yeah. And like for me, I'm, you know, fairly vanilla. So, um, you know, there, there's, I'm, 
you know, I pimp my, my fair share of homers, you know, yeah. big ones, big moments, you know, yeah. where I know I get it and, um, you know, get to take my time going around the bases. But, um, you know, it, to me, it's like I feel good enough, like, hitting the ball out of the ballpark, so I, I don't feel like I need to, you know, do, do anything more. But I have nothing against guys that do it. You know, I, I like watching guys do it. Uh, to a certain extent, right? You know, like I think there's some that you you look at and you're like, ah, that might be a little too much, you know. But yeah. um, you know, I think it grows the game. Fans like seeing it, you know, especially young kids like seeing it, and um, so it's it's as much a, a part of the game as anything now. Awesome. And I actually just thought of one last one. Yeah. So how often do you still see Longoria Rays jerseys? And then how how do Rays fans still treat you? Like, do you still got like Rays fans coming up to you, like thanking you for everything? Yeah, I haven't been back to Tampa. Really? No, I. I that's yeah, crazy I guess to think. Yeah, it hasn't worked out. Yeah, this so year, definitely. no, we they come to us. Oh, hey. So yeah, so my first year with San Francisco, they came to us like yeah. the first series of the year when I, I after I'd gotten traded. Uh, that was in 2018, and then the COVID year happened, so the season got realigned, and so we never like the cycle never got back to going back to the AL East and going back. Yeah. Um, but to answer your question, no, I still get a ton of love um, from the uh, you know the fan base there. Um, yeah, I, I just uh, I wish I would have had the opportunity to go back, but um, I don't see too many jerseys, especially like you know just there's around, there's yeah. yeah I mean I'm sure there's some in Florida, but um, you know around the country I don't see a whole lot of Longoria Rays jerseys. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's. Uh, be looking forward to seeing those guys. I mean, the, the team has changed so much since I've been there, you know, yeah. six, seven years ago. But still some guys in the front office, still some guys working in the clubhouse that were there when I was there. So definitely looking forward to seeing them. Awesome. That's all I got, bro.